Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. Really interesting question today. On the first side we have like very easy question. Everyone learned this addition multiplication at school. We have like 3 plus 3 plus 3 and times 0. So very easy question, but a lot of students do this mistake and I wanted to record this video because a lot of students uh, goes wrong with this question. We have only like addition, multiplication, very simple mass operations, but a lot of students goes wrong. And I wanted to record this video. But before solving this question, I wanted to I want you to choose one option what do you think is a correct we have only three options so it's really great a test for you and of course it's really great uh, for us to check our answers in the end of the video so you can easily write your suggestion into the comment section what do you think is a correct answer it is really interesting okay i want to start uh, i want to start to solve this we have three plus three plus three and times zero so here is our question and a lot of students from school know that mm, doesn't matter what number you have on the left hand side if you multiply it by zero the answer is zero in our Okay, so let's start with this. We have three plus three plus three plus uh, we have three plus three plus three equal to nine, and nine times zero equal to zero. Doesn't matter what number you have on the left hand side, maybe like one hundred times zero, you will have zero. And one part of students all like that, they say, okay, we have right here our option A is a correct answer, and they go back to the next question. But right now I want to say that this is very bad solution. This is absolutely wrong solution because we solve it wherever we want. We just we wanted to add it and we wanted to multiply it. It's not about mass rules, we just solve it as whatever we want, we just add it and we multiply by zero. In mass it's not work like that, because right here we have addition and multiplication and we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem, yeah? Because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, yeah? For this question um, I want to I want to show you this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All in Internet library, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. Yeah, and let's solve this question according to PMDMC. Uh, we have right here 3 plus 3 plus 3 and times 0. So this, this PMDMC works on the top to the bottom, and I want to say that doesn't matter PMDMC, BODMAS, every time you will have the same answer. So it doesn't matter, and I respect every order of operation, but in our case, let's solve it according to PMDMC. Okay, 3 plus 3 plus 3 times 0, and let's go to the first step. First step according to PMDMC is parentheses, yeah? And let's look at it. Where do we have this parentheses right here? I don't have any parentheses, I don't see any parentheses, so we just we just skip this part, which is which is really great, we don't have any parentheses. Okay, exponent. What about exponents? Let's look at it. Uh, no, I don't see any exponents, so we just we just skip this part as well. We don't have any exponent and we just we just skip this part. Okay, which is really good because with parentheses and exponent, this question will be like more complicated for us, and we don't have these steps, and we go to the next step. The next step, multiplication and division group, yeah? Let's look at this in a perspective of group, where do we have multiplication and division signs? Okay, right here addition, right here addition, yeah, right here we have multiplication sign, but this multiplication sign we apply only to these two numbers, it's not to the whole expression, we just apply it only to these two numbers. So we have multiplication part right here, and we don't have division part, which is which is really good because after these four steps, we need to start from this multiplication. So we have three plus three and plus three times zero equal to zero. As I told before, every time you multiply by zero, you will have zero. But it's not applying to the whole expression. We just apply it only to these two numbers. So three plus three plus zero equal to equal to six. And saying in another words, right here we have this addition, so our last step we have it. And we need to do multiplication before division. This is maybe the key moment right here. I just want you to understand that multiplication is all the time before addition. Yeah, so we need to multiply it first. This number, that where do we have this multiplication sign? In our case, this is three times zero. And then you need to add all of these numbers, which is really important step because a lot of students think that our answer is zero. We have three plus three plus three equal to nine times zero equal to zero. In our case, correct answer is option C. And I hope you understand why. Multiplication is before addition. This is the key moment right here. But I understand when you do, did this mistake because this is like obvious for, for, for students to multiply by zero and the answer is zero. This is like obvious and this is in the same way this is very bad mistake because this you need to know about order of operation. So right here I write our answer. So our answer, this is option. Option C is a correct answer. But I want to go back to this question in the beginning because this is absolutely wrong solution zero. But if we put parentheses, 
then you need to start from these parentheses right here. And if you have parentheses, a correct answer is zero. Yeah, this is like a trick for you. This is like really important step. If you have parentheses, then you need to start from these parentheses and your answer is zero. But in our case, we don't have any parentheses. We have like a regular expression without any parentheses. So we just multiply right here only three times zero and we add it only two steps, multiplication before addition, which is maybe the key moment right here for this question. So we hope you understand this explanation. I wish you all the best in your adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day. I wish you all the best and see you in the next videos. And definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. This is this is nothing hard and I hope you understand this, this explanation. So see you in the next videos and have a great day.